Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WrestleMania 2 for a second time. My name is Mauro Ranallo, and I am flanked by my two guests who can introduce themselves. This is the greatest announcer in the history of NCWF, Michael Cole. Joined and along by Mauro Ranallo and our other partner. And the face of NCWF, or the voice that is of NCWF, Corey Graves. Here we see the chilling entrance of the phenom, the dead man, the man who has dominated the wrestling world for over 20 years, The Undertaker. Arguably the greatest legend in wrestling history with a career, like my partner said, spanning over 20 years. Many memorable WrestleMania moments, but this is probably his greatest talent ever in the form of long time rival there's no entrance like this at Wrestlemania the shock and awe there's no feeling like this this is once in a lifetime but in this case the third time yes I was going to say thrice in a lifetime it is Undertaker having won both the first encounters will Shawn Michaels finally be able to put an end to the dead man's continued reign at WrestleMania, or will the dead man prove victor once more? This is kind of drawing a lot of parallels with uh, Rock and Austin. Rock and Austin have faced off three different times at WrestleMania. Austin won the first two, and Rock finally won the third one at WrestleMania 15. Could we possibly be seeing the same thing as we await the arrival of Undertaker has a lot of losses in NCWF lately. This might be the match that can make him bounce back. As for me, my money's on HBK. Well, he is the heartbreak kid, the showstopper. WrestleMania is where he's going to shine most. Let's see if he can live up to that moniker of his. I don't know, I think only an idiot would pick the Heartbreak Kid over the legendary Undertaker, especially when it comes to a match at WrestleMania. Well, all my money's on HBK because he is the franchise player of NCWF, and I, I'm just going to leave it on that. <laughs> Let's see what happens, guys. Let's reserve the judgment for the match. Right now, it's the entrance of the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Mike. You can be as neutral as you want, but we both know who the real winner is. Just my colleague is too stupid to see it. And that is HBK. Yeah. Yeah, I am neutral. That's because my favorite country is the country of Switzerland, the neutral country, as everyone knows in the world. And my favorite wrestler is, of course, the Swiss Superman, the Swiss cyborg, Woken Cesaro. But... Let me leave my opinions aside as we, I become neutral again and we witness the legendary entrance of the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Michaels. He's not called Mr. WrestleMania for nothing as you look at these amazing explosions. The only other person who could really be said to be on the same level as Shawn Michaels when it comes to WrestleMania performances is his opponent tonight. So, um... How do you think this is going to play in as our match gets underway? The bell just rang. Hmm, my thoughts on this is HBK has, you know, been having that meteoric rise in NCWF, and to challenge Undertaker at the grandest stage of all WrestleMania might be his biggest challenge yet. This is the third encounter, but wow. HBK, HB Sigil got this. HBK already starting it with quick offense, some drop kicks. His uh, forearm strike and then reversal by The Undertaker after the back suplex. Shawn Michaels rolls to the outside. Big boot. Taker fortunately able to catch Shawn Michaels before he's able to recover after the mid-reverse. And Taker just slams him to the floor with authority. Taker's, Taker's showing why it's his yard right now. Ah, uh, Just as soon as you speak, a reversal has occurred. Shawn Michaels with the advantage right now. Picking Taker up, 
What's he thinking here? Taker just trying to strike but not getting anything. Perhaps thinking of a power bomb is Shawn Michaels. No. Keeping him vertical with the pile driver. Good guy. Oh my God. This early in the match. Man, Taker's already in trouble. His neck looks to be in really bad shape after that pile driver. But fortunately, he's still able to move on as we continue with the early stages of these matches and a wicked punch to the face. This is what I'm talking about. HBK, franchise player of NCAA for a reason. In control right now. What yeah, but this? it doesn't matter because we all know Taker's going to recover soon enough and when he does, HBK's going to be in a world of trouble. Yeah, McCall, that's, that's, you got to realize, Taker's a decrepit old man. He can barely even walk. Let's you both remember, guys, let's both remember that both men are over their 50s, so this is a very tough match for the both of them, but they're still competing at a top level. As we see Taker targeting the leg, trying to remove the super kick, the sweet chin music from Shawn Michaels' arsenal. Oh, I cool. agree that they're both competing at a high level, but we also have to remember, between the two of them, the only one who had a back injury that forced him into retirement for several years is Shawn Michaels. We all know that's going to play a huge role in this one. Are you a stupid idiot, Cole? If he was retired, he wouldn't be wrestling for NCWF right now. I said he was retired for years before he was able to heal enough to actually make a return if he would actually pay attention to He's well, you're just spouting fight. fake news right now. You should pay attention to the match. Yeah, as you're saying that, a superplex was delivered, targeting exactly that region of Michaels, the lower back. He may be in trouble, guys. A wicked club to the back as well. Taker's just destroying Michaels back right now. Irish whip to the corner, and a wicked clothesline. Ooh, man. Come on, HBK. HBK recovering now. To the outside he goes. Trying to think what he can do to get the advantage over Taker. Taker argues with the ref, and that cost him very much as Shawn Michaels hits the crucifix. And now Taker, Taker though. wisely, wisely rolling to the outside, not letting Michaels capitalize nearly as much as he wanted to. Avoids the drop kick, misses the big boot. A very rare mistake by the Undertaker as Michaels takes that again. What a drop kick from HBK. Is this now targeting the arm of the Undertaker, perhaps trying to remove the choke slam out of his move set? And then, ooh. HBK is ready to prove all his doubters wrong at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Back and forth reversal exchanged by these two legendary competitors as Michaels continues to lift the arm. But it was the other arm this time. It looks like he's targeting the whole body. And now with a knee to the side of the head. How violent that was. What a methodical pace from HBK. Michaels lifts him up again. Another devastating pile driver to the neck of the Undertaker. And Taker again forced to retreat. It's Michael almost like... Not, not yeah, I, I was going to say it's almost like he's using Taker's offense against him. His tombstones, but not a tombstone, just a pile driver against The Undertaker, who's the master of the pile driver. Seeing HBK roll out all this... Or actually, not HBK, my bad. Undertaker rolling out. It seems to be like it's not his yard. HBK must have this at this point. Wicked suplex by the Heartbreak Kid. And, and Taker again, not letting Michael. Oh no! As as oh my goodness! Dives to the outside. That was very eerily similar of Cesaro at SummerSlam against uh, Sheamus, where he dove and almost broke his neck. So that was very dangerous by HBK right there. HBK in the ring, Taker in the ring, clothesline. Yeah, but it just shows you how important this match is for HBK. He's already lost twice to the Undertaker. It's looking like he might lose a third time, even though HBK has the advantage right now. We all know how good Taker is at playing awesome. That's true. What's this? What's Michael's going to the top. Is he thinking for his signature elbow drop? Oh, to the back. To the back? We usually don't see that. Oh, oh my man. You see that man? The legendary inventor of the sweet chin music mobile is over. over. And what? Taker survives. So he gets out. That's why he's the Undertaker, the Phenom, the Dead Man. 
HBK got to freaking work on this methodical pace if he's going to win this match. Taker showing exactly why it's his yard as Michaels is down and Taker picks him up. What's this? Something, but Michaels reverses. Reversal of the Irish whip into the corner. <laughs> Snake eyes. Taste of his own medicine. And that's Dude, true. He yeah. learned. And another sweet chin music right to the chin. The Dragon band the is... center of the ring. Oh, and this be it. Cool. And it's oh over. It is all over, guys. Mamma mia. Michaels finally did it. The boyhood dream has come true for the heart rate kid. And Taker that's one point. Knocked out cold. There's no way the sweet chin music like at this early into the match. I don't know what went wrong, but... Michaels with the shot. <laughs> what can I say? Corey Graves is never wrong. Factually, HBK got this match, and it's finally his yard at the WrestleMania 2.